This video demonstrates a mechanical system which exhibits half bifurcation. Half bifurcation is a well-known phenomenon in dynamics. However, uh, it's not easy to come up with a physical system that we can appreciate what is happening. So here I come up with a mass spring dashpot system that uh, is connected uh, by an actuator. Just imagine that through the actuator motion, you try to put the mass in a certain place. So the uh, equation of a motion is simply given by Newton's second law. And the feedback, uh, in other words, the motion of the linear actuator is controlled based on the desired position and the actual position difference uh, with a gain A. So here, this is a system with several parameters. Uh, we can reduce the complexity I put it in sort of a dimensionless form. Uh, in this case, we have a damping ratio zeta, omega zero, natural frequency, and the gain for the feedback, which is sigma. And uh, I illustrated the result using numerical solutions of this uh, um, uh, differential equations, um, but for fixed parameters of omega zero and zeta. And the remaining parameter now is the gain of the feedback. First, without the feedback gain, in other words, the actuator is not um, connected in, without actuation. In other words, there's no force from the actuator. Obviously, you have a, a dash part which will damp out the energy and bring the system into equilibrium. And I deliberately selected a situation where the damping ratio of zeta is 1.5, we know that the zeta equals to 1 represents the so-called critical damping. And for zeta above 1, we have an overdamped system. So the systems return to its equilibrium without even any oscillations. Now, with a subcritical feedback gain, sigma equals to 1.0. So here, sigma is less than the zeta value. What we see here is that uh, the equilibrium is uh, stable. However, there's an oscillation. And what we see is a damped oscillation. And this is the at the criticality, the response of the system. And uh, start with any error, you see that uh, the motion is a uh, oscillation with a constant uh, amplitude. So this is kind of indicating this uh, unique threshold uh, amplitude is just maintaining constant. And for feedback gain above the damping ratio zeta, and what we see here is oscillation with a growing amplitude. So this is uh, the transition, as you see that the equilibrium from stable uh, changing into um, oscillations with a growing amplitude. And this is a typical uh, half phenomenon in such our system, uh, the math is very simple. We can understand the numerical results in the context of algebra. We can write our equation of motion in state space and uh, in the form of z dot equals to a z, and z represents the state variables. And the matrix A is given here. And this matrix has several zeros, so you can easily write down its characteristic equations and from that, you can determine the roots of the characteristic equations. And from that, you can also see that uh, uh, if sigma or the feedback gain is less than damping ratio zeta, all eigenvalues have negative real parts. So the equilibrium is stable. When sigma equals to zeta, so which is represented the criticality, when sigma equals to zeta, we have one negative eigenvalue and a pair of a pure imaginary eigenvalue. For sigma above zeta, we have one pair of complex conjugate eigenvalues with positive real parts, and we have one negative eigenvalue. But that is the case corresponding to growing amplitude oscillations. And it uh, seems like uh, we need some mathematics to understand these transitions. Um, but uh, another perspective is to understand this feedback system. Here, the feedback y is uh, given in terms of rate of change, y dot. So it's written in its differential form. 
And in other words, Y can be written as the feed integration of the feedback. And in the context of PID controllers, we essentially have a pure integration control, inter integration feedback. So um, I put the um, I put the every in parentheses. So control engineers know that uh, with pure uh, integration control, um, the system um, is unstable when the feedback gain is too large. So this end this uh, uh, example of a mechanical system demonstrating half bifurcation. Thank you for watching.